Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The question is today, do switches need to be grounded? Stick around and we'll talk about it. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our... Okay, the official answer for that is yes, all of your switches need to be grounded. Most newer advanced switches come with a ground on them or a ground screw to bond or ground to the box. I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, we have a variety of switches here. Most of these switches are either grounded through the metal on the switch itself, which is the older style, or they have an actual ground right on the switch itself, you can see here, so this needs to be grounded. Most dimmer switches, you can see in there there's a green, come with the ground on them. As you can see here, here's a timer, it's got the ground on it. Those need to be grounded to the back of the, back of the box. Some older switches, and this isn't an older one, see, there's your ground on there. Some older switches won't have the ground on the actual uh, switch itself. This is a three-way, so that's not a ground, that's actually common. So in that case, we, all we can do for grounding or bonding is to bond this metal frame to the metal frame of the box and make sure it's correct. But most advanced switches come with a ground on them. Now, this switch here, as you can see, has a ground on it. It comes out from the back of the box and goes right on to the side of the ground log on this. This is to keep current from flowing through the least path of resistance, which it would be me in this case, but since it's grounded, it's gonna go directly to back to the panel. Now, like I said, not all switches have this ground on them, so then all we can do is rely on the actual metal box, and I'm showing that this is a metal box, so how we would actually ground it through these screws here. And it does get more confusing when we get into a situation where we have several gang switches and we have several grounds hanging out of the box, that gets more dangerous for us. But that's really for us to deal with because you guys are not electricians and you shouldn't be in the box. So I hope that helped clarify the simple question of should switches be grounded? Yes, they should be grounded at all times. If you want to see more on switching, click up here in the corner or come on over to the website where all our videos are organized in a searchable fashion. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, stay safe, never do your own electrical work, and we'll see you in the next one.